So yesterday, a grand jury um, refused to indict uh, the police officers involved in shooting and killing Tamir Rice, a 12-year-old with a toy gun. Now that's because Tim McGinty, the prosecutor, uh, threw the case and bragged about throwing the case. He told the grand jury, which is unprecedented, that they should not indict. The whole point of a prosecutor going in front of a grand jury is to get an indictment. He presented witnesses not on behalf of the victim, but on behalf of the defendants. Unheard of. I would literally never heard of it until a crop of uh, corrupt prosecutors in this country decided that no matter what cops do and no matter who they murder, they were going to protect them at all costs because they figured that would help their political careers. So we have seen it all across the country now and McGinty is the latest one to do it. But there is an extra twist to this story. Uh, Ohio is an open carry state. What does that mean? Well, let's go to Charles Pierce in es Esquire. He explains Ohio is an open carry state, so even if the cops assumed Rice was 18 and they also assumed his gun was real, they had no cause even to stop him, let alone open fire. Now, look, we, we've had pictures on the show, we'll have them for you in a second too. White people, sometimes Latinos, carrying guns. Assault rifles in Walmarts, wherever the hell they want. Nobody ever gets shot. Now you got a 12 year old with a toy gun here, but ooh, he made the mistake of being black. So I'm going to show you the video one last time here. Look, it's he's shot in two seconds flat. And remember, it's an open carry state. If it was a real gun, he'd have every right to have that gun. Nonetheless, this is what they did to him. He's in a park where kids usually are. It's in Cleveland. They got a report. The 911 person knew that it would, could have been a toy gun. He didn't pass that along. She didn't pass that along, to be fair. Cops get there. Instead of pulling up um, on the street, they decided to pull right up to him. They didn't ask him any questions. They didn't say, Is that a gun? Is that a toy gun? Hey, what's going on? Hey, drop it. As one writer said, they did not give him an opportunity to live. Two seconds flat. But I see white people with assault rifles everywhere. I see them in front of mosques. I see them trying to intimidate Black Lives Matter protesters. In fact, some of them shot Black Lives Matter protesters. I see white people who then use that gun, not only against the Black Lives Matter, but they go into Planned Parenthoods and kill people, including cops. But no, 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 they got rights. They got Second Amendment rights. Second Amendment rights. But he got a 12 year old with a toy gun. He doesn't have any rights. He has the right to get murdered in two seconds flat, and then the cops get away with it. Okay, now. Uh, more details on Ohio's laws. Ohio, for instance, allows open carry without a permit virtually anywhere, with a major exception for keeping a gun in a car, which requires a concealed carry permit. Now, Tamir Rice obviously not in a car. He can carry his toy gun anywhere, let alone a real gun. Uh, well, he's not alone. John Crawford was also shot dead with a toy gun, also in Ohio. He was in a Walmart. Cops get a call. Now, yesterday on the program, I said they shot him and killed him in six seconds. That's true. You're about to see the video. It took six seconds for them to kill him. It took them one second to shoot him initially. Okay, they shot at him within one second. Now, remember, if this is a real gun, in Ohio, he has every right to carry it. And there's no one near him. It's not like there's other shoppers and he's pointing the gun at them or anything. And of course, it's not a real gun. It's a BB gun. All right, now watch the video. So there's Crawford. He picked up one that wasn't packaged. He's been lying around in that store for two years. He puts the gun down. They're shooting at him. He puts the gun down. Okay, the non gun, by the way, the toy gun. He comes back. Hey, I, not necessarily to pick up the gun. Maybe the gun, cop thought he was going to pick up the gun, but he didn't pick up the gun. He had his hands uh, up, and it doesn't matter. Shot dead. Shot dead. You have every right to carry a gun openly in Ohio unless you're black, in which case the cops will shoot at you within one to two seconds and murder you within at least six seconds. What happened? I thought everybody had a Second Amendment right. What happened? I thought we all had the rights. Oh, you meant just white people. And if you know the history of the Second Amendment, you would know that this is actually the point of the Second Amendment, at least in regards to the South. In the South, uh, they, their militias were called, they had another name, slave patrols. The slave patrols were so that white people could be armed so they could shoot black people. You think black people had a right? Well, according to the Second Amendment, it says people, people, uh, ignore the part about the militia, right? But people have a right to bear arms. Did the African American people have rights to bear arms? No, no, no. They were slaves. They were the ones getting shot. You see how much things have changed. So, 
More explanation from Vox, they say misuse of a firearm is definitely grounds for formal police intervention, but not mere possession. When white people walk around with guns, that's not misusing it. When black people have toy guns that they're pointing down and there's no one anywhere near them, misuse of a toy gun, murder them. Okay. <laughs> then there's this question. They say the legal question for the officers involved in these shootings isn't whether Crawford and Rice had a right to carry a gun in public, but whether they reasonably believe the reported threats were still present up to the moment they shot Crawford and Rice. <laughs> well, isn't that neat? See, that's to me, that's even worse. So they're saying, yeah, you got a right to carry a weapon, but if the police perceive you as a threat, they have a right to kill you. <laughs> Lo and behold, they don't perceive white people as a threat. They perceive black people as a threat. Even if they have toy guns, even if they're 12 years old. The prosecutor, not the cops charged, the prosecutor. And the Tamir Rice said, well, I mean, he looked so much older and, you know, and he, and he was a big kid. So, they, of course, they... So we thought he was a threat, come on. He said it was reasonable to think that that 12 year old was a threat because he looked so much larger. By the way, uh, when they did a study on college campuses, they asked young white women uh, to estimate the age of young black males over the age of 10. On average, they guessed 4.5 years older than the kids actually were. And they rated them as more threatening than white kids. They were just pictures. Nobody was threatening, nobody was anything. Based on race, oh, I don't know, they look old, they look threatening, they're black. Oh, I can reasonably perceive that they should be murdered. God damn it, it shouldn't be like this. Okay, here's another example. By putting police officers through a video game simulation, Josh Carell of the University of Colorado Boulder found cops generally pull the trigger more quickly against black suspects than white suspects when the suspect was seen carrying a weapon. <laughs> now. I know, people don't want to admit it, they're like, no, no, no way, there's no racism in America, no way. But we do the studies, it's, it shows it. Cops see a black person, they shoot quicker, and you just saw the videos. Now, if you look, here, I'll just give you a couple of white pictures here. These are guys in the country, most of the states in this country have open carry, okay? <laughs> look at that giant weapon, that's in Walmart. John Crawford got shot at a Walmart with a toy gun. They have real weapons, assault rifles that they carry around. They're, they're packing, they got a oh, lolly, lolly, lolly. It, they say, oh, it's their clothing and the way they looked. It's not just their race. That guy's got tattoos all over him. I mean, it's not like he's in a business suit. That, nothing wrong with tattoos, but you, you hold it against black people. But when it's white people, I mean, he's got tattoos and he's dressed in the same way as black people and he's got an actual weapon. But, but what? But he's white. Why don't you just say it? So if you defend the rights of these uh, uh, wonderful people to have their g real guns everywhere, yet you think cops should shoot at black people and black kids within one to two seconds if they think they might have a gun and they don't even bother asking them, well then you might be a racist. So just get used to it, okay? That, that's what you are. Because I know, oh, you're so deeply offended. But when it comes to white people, oh, they get to have guns, they get to have guns. But they're okay, black people, shoot him dead, shoot him dead, that cop was right, that cop was reasonable, that cop was right. Wait, why are you defending a cop? I thought you loved the Second Amendment, right wingers? I thought you were all about the Second Amendment. If Tamir Rice had a gun and was twirling it around or carrying it around with him, oh yeah, well, he shouldn't because he's 12, but they said he, they, they thought he looked 18, they thought he looked like an adult. They shouldn't they have said, oh, you are a good, law-abiding American citizen having your Second Amendment rights in this public square. There's nobody around you that's not threatening anybody. In the Walmart, nobody around them. But if you're black, you're dead. If you're white, then you have your Second Amendment rights. If you think that, if you think that, whether you recognize it or not, you're a goddamn racist.